Okay, aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul, and as you can tell by the sign, the name of today's live stream is Sacred Soul Secrets that are explained with science. A lot of people love soul and they love soul secrets. And a lot of people are very mind oriented. They need the mind food. They need the validations that science can bring to prove that no matter what, <clears throat> these things are real. And so my teacher, Master Shah, he understands that. And so he's worked very closely with doctors. He's worked very closely with physicists uh, to ensure that the soul secrets that he shares can actually be validated through medical science and modern physics science. So that takes a great deal of intelligence, awareness, wisdom. It takes a great deal of patience and tolerance as well. There are very few of the great beings on the planet that really care. You know, they don't really care if, if medicine ever validates their miracles. They don't care if science ever catches up to their truth. But Master Shah is a different type of being. He recognizes that all beings in humanity have different um, paths and that they have different ways of thinking and different ways of processing. And he honors every belief. He honors every system. He honors every process by which people open to their soul journey. And so he has created uh, uh, quite a few different structures that are purposeful to help educate humanity from whatever perspective that they can open their hearts and minds to. So today that's what I'll be focusing on is sharing with you some wisdom and I'll be using this book here. It's called Soul Mind Body Science System. This is the first book. A second book will be revealed and released within the next month or two. And uh, these books are based in the roots of physics. They are based in the roots of hard science. And I'll be reading from these books today and then we'll be doing some practices as well to help solidify some of the baseline understandings so that science can understand the nature of soul, so that soul can be validated by science, so that things like a spiritual debt, spiritual virtue, the nature of creation and its relationship to us and our level of suffering now, all of this can actually be validated by science. So that's what you can look forward to today on this live stream. I hope all of you enjoyed the last three days of live streams. I can share with you they have been exceptionally powerful. If you missed them, go back, watch them. On Monday, I covered Dao Hands. Just today, I was speaking with a beautiful soul. And uh, this person had only been watching me about a week. He was referred to this live stream. And I offered at the uh, somewhere in the middle of the Dao Hands uh, explanation, uh, so that we could find people to be better servants to humanity, to bring blessings to humanity. I offered a Dao Hands blessing for people's requests and it was only three minutes long. This gentleman uh, had significant neck, uh, shoulder and some upper back pain and uh, had been there for a while and nothing had worked. And this one three minute blessing released it and it has remained away per his uh, comments to me today. Um, so that's one example of some of the power. Today, I will be sharing with you wisdom that can help validate why that worked from the scientific perspective. Why did that work? Uh, on um, Tuesday, uh, I talked about creation of Mother Earth and we did uh, blessings with Mother Earth. And then yesterday was extremely powerful. Yesterday was very, very potent. And so each one of these days is a great opportunity to further awaken to your soul and its journey. And if you are new and you would like to know more, uh, up above the video is links to my blog on my website, links to the previous recordings. And I do recommend uh, as you enjoy this to hit subscribe 
uh, uh, on my Facebook page. Then you'll know when I go live, all right? So I'm gonna acknowledge all the souls that are jumped in here today. Welcome Heather Houston, Aloha Ari. <coughs> uh, welcome to Don Robinson, Aloha Kristen Rojas. Welcome Amir Patel. Welcome Peggy, Aloha Tony, welcome Jose. Welcome also to Suki Singh, Aloha Crane. Thank you, Crane. Please connect with me, Crane. I saw your um, your uh, requests for service, but I didn't know how to get a hold of you. So please connect with me through Facebook Messenger. Uh, and then Janice, aloha also to Lisa. Welcome, Tony. Welcome, Andrea. Aloha, Ali. And Sharon Dodd. Welcome also to Deborah. Welcome, Chris Ezekiel. Aloha, Dawn. Welcome, Lucille. And Dana Knapp. Aloha, Dana. Welcome also to Chantal, Lorne, welcome. And welcome to Bonnie Robinson, Katie Nada, aloha also to Becky Lafave, Richie, welcome Richie. Uh, aloha Linda, and welcome also to Julia, aloha Candy, a lot of people jumping in today. Welcome also to Elizabeth, aloha Kathy Arnold. Welcome Michelle. Welcome Vanessa Olival, aloha Tammy J. And welcome also to CJ. Welcome uh, everyone who I haven't mentioned. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome also to Kayla. If I haven't mentioned Adrian Santana, welcome. <clears throat> Thank you all for clicking on that share button, letting other people know about today's live stream. Aloha, welcome to Tina and also to Jenny Johansson. So <clears throat> there's going to be a lot to cover today. I'll do my best. I will be reading to you from this book. Uh, of course, I can speak it. But one of the reasons why I read it when I do read, because most of the time I don't. But if I do, there's a very specific reason. It has to do with the frequency of the exact words that were printed in that book. They carry the necessary message so you'll be able to receive the greatest wisdom for comprehending soul secrets and science and how they can work together okay so we're going to first connect heart to heart soul to soul as we always do by chanting love peace and harmony again for those that are new this is a mantra it is a mantra that can change your life and bring a great deal of healing to you um, another thing just like the Tao hands blessing the mantra all of these can be validated through the Tao science so we're going to move forward into that right now let us place our hands in the hand mudra position, dropping like a prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. I will call forth the beings of light and let us connect. Dear our beloved creator, all layers of the divine Tao and source, our spiritual mothers and fathers, all beings of light, Angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu saints, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. I love you all, honor you all, respect you, appreciate you, thank you from my heart for your presence. Do the soul of the book, Soul, Mind, Body, Science System, the uh, intelligence, wisdom, guidance, practices and all that has been placed in this book all the special blessings placed in this book and the calligraphies love you want to respect you ask you to please borrow my mouth allow me to serve all of these souls as best as possible today to awaken them to their journey and move them from mind to their soul to their heart Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, respect you, deeply appreciate you. We invite you to please be present at this time. And I invite all souls in all universes to chant love, peace and harmony with me, with all of us to connect us heart to heart, soul to soul, that we can further move forward on our soul journey. Let us begin. Ooh. Lula 
Okay, I am back. Yay. Okay. Let us continue. Lula, Lula, Li. 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 Oh, I wash Oh, I run, run, lay. Wang me hirong her musher shang. Shang I ping on a she. Song I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, a little testing there as things froze, but we are back. So welcome also to Kayla, welcome Crystal, aloha to uh, Tali, welcome, welcome Ruth, welcome Julia Abbott, welcome also to uh, Atena, Sharon Dodd, welcome, uh, and welcome to uh, Sarah Knowles, welcome Danta. So I'm very grateful for all of you uh, and your presence. Thank you so much for joining today. And thank you for sticking through with the little hiccup there. Um, always testing, you know, always testing. All right. Today, we're going to focus on the wisdom from this book. This is the Soul, Mind, Body Science System. Now, I'm not promoting the book. I'm not selling the book. Some people actually state that, which always surprises me. Obviously, I only watch one minute. But... The wisdom is here, so if you'd like to know a bit deeper knowledge of what I'm going to cover today, recommend it. Also, and I will say this, I am promoting um, the co-author of this book, Master Rulin Shu, uh, because after this book was printed, which is about two years ago, she's traveled around the world, literally countries all over the world, teaching physicists, going to universities, teaching the teachers and the students uh, about Tao science, about soul mind body science. No one's going to allow you into their university unless you have some pretty strong proof about what you're talking about. So she's been basically putting a uh, base down and she's been changing her verbiage so that she can take extraordinary high level wisdom and bring it down to your and my level. And so that's one reason why I'm sharing this today because I can share with you at my level. And I'm inviting you to her event, which, uh, which is the inaugural release of this, uh, this wisdom. And it's August 5 and 6, I believe. Kristen, uh, uh, Kristen Rojas, who is just awesome, uh, puts a lot of stuff in the chat boxes. So you should see that link pop up there. So up to you if you want to go check it out. But um, it's a way in which you can go a little bit deeper on what we're going to cover today. So what is soul, mind, body science? I want to start by just giving you a, a simple uh, overview. Has anybody ever heard of the grand unification theory? Honestly, I knew Nitnoi about it. Nitnoi is um, a Thai language, which means a little bit. I knew very little about uh, the grand unification theory. I had heard of it, but it's like, yeah, not all that exciting to me. I don't really know what it is. Don't really care. I've come to find out that the simple version of what it is, is it's one mathematical equation that answers every question ever asked in all time about the nature of the universe. Wow. Imagine one question, you know, like, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Einstein, you know, E plus C equals MC squared or whatever that equation is. You can tell I'm not a physics person. That equation answered a lot of physics problems and it allowed us to blow up people in the world. It allowed us to solve a lot of problems too. Um, but 
it was an equation that helped us to move further in our progress. So the grand unification theory has never in the history of time been solved. There is nobody that has solved the equation. Now, what does that mean? That means that if even if it has been solved, everybody has to agree to it. That's the big uh, catch, okay? So I'm gonna show you the equation today that solves all life problems. It solves all scientific problems. It solves everything. It has been proven and validated so far, uh, and but it still has to go through the, through the regimen of all of the monkey minds and everybody thinking it through, through their processes. Um, there is a gentleman, well, very, very well known in the scientific community. His name is Irvin Laszlo. You can, you can Google it. E-R-V-I-N, Irvin Laszlo, L-A-S-Z-L-O. And he wrote the foreword on this book. Now, Irvin Laszlo is like, he is like the guru of physics. He's 80 plus years old. And he wrote the foreword in this book. So if probably the most recognized physics person in the world writes the foreword to this book, maybe there's some validity to it. It was written by this gentleman, Dr. and Master Shah, and a woman named Rulin Shu, who is a physicist. And uh, she was a student that came to Master Shah's organization because she wanted to open up the soul aspects. She already had the mind physics aspects. She wanted to open up the soul aspects. So Master Shah, having uh, heaven's foresight, could see that this was the, the right person to bring forward the validation of soul in terms of scientific terminology. And so he worked with her for several years, kept giving her opportunity to grow her soul journey till she became soul intelligent enough to where he could then work with her on the science aspect of it. And he talked to her about the grand unification theory and she told him it was her dream, but she basically let it go because no one's ever solved it and she figured it was not gonna be possible. Um, then Master Shah, he asked heaven, because Master Shah, if you turn to learn more about him, he's very connected to heaven. So he asked heaven, he says, do you want me to write a book to connect soul and science? Heaven said, yes, we need that because as we move forward, everything being soul, we need everybody on the same page. We need all the people that are naysayers, all the people that are very mind-oriented, science-oriented. It's not true unless we can validate it with science. We need all the doctors. We need everybody on the same page, and that will just take time. So heaven gave him the grand unification theory formula, which is, and I'll go over this multiple times, S plus E plus M equals one. That's the grand unification theory formula, just like Einstein's, but it's S plus E plus M equals one. So he received this formula from heaven. Now, Master Shaw is not a physicist. He's just very connected. So he gave this formula to this physicist, Dr. Master Rulin, and she looked, she looked, this is her story. She looked at him and said, uh-uh, that, that ain't it. I don't know what to tell you, but I, I don't know how that could possibly be the answer. Well, he said, heaven tells me it is, so go to work, go figure it out. And he gave her many, many downloads, treasures, blessings. Uh, what I'm going to tell you next might really rattle you. He uh, assigned heaven scientist, Einstein's soul. He, he cracked open her third eye like crazy wide so she could see heaven's um, uh, science library. Uh, he, she talked to the, um, to the physicist, heaven's physicist. She... Um, uh, she received special calligraphies that opened up her information more and more every day. And in doing this, she received information to go about the mathematical processes of validating the, um, the uh, equation. So she didn't, she, you can't just say, okay, I believe it now because this, this teacher gave me all these downloads, treasures, and, 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 and people with my third eye I can see. You can't do that. Science is still going to laugh at you. She still has to, to do the math and validate it all the way from beginning to end. And she's accomplished that. She has also accomplished validating karma, validating soul, validating positive energy, validating negative energy, which is in essence good karma, bad karma. She's been able to validate it with math with science. Now it's just the process of educating humanity, okay? So that's where we're headed with this to give you an idea of just how amazing and potent 
this wisdom is. So now I'm going to read a little bit to you. I know I'm talking fast, but I got a lot of information to cover. If you miss some, just go back, watch it again. Okay? This is page 45 of this um, book, Soul Mind Body Science. Since creation, the title is of this chapter, the formation, this is an interesting title, the formation of heaven, mother earth, countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. Huh? Pretty big title. Let's see what they say. Since creation, countless spiritual beings have been searching for knowledge on how heaven, mother earth, and countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes were formed. Many scientists throughout history have searched for and tried to prove how heaven, mother earth, and all of these things were formed. They talked about the Big Bang Theory, an explanation of the beginning from infancy. Uh, many cosmologists intensively study the, uh, the planet, planet Planck Epoch. That's some, I never heard of Planck Epoch. Uh, in which they consider to be the earliest period of time in the history of the universe. Uh, it lasted from time zero to approximately 10 seconds. Uh, modern cosmology now suggests that Planck Epoch might have a different equation. So in this chapter we explain the formation of heaven, mother, earth, and all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. Okay, major title, Tao, T-A-O. What is Tao? Tao is the creator and the source of heaven, mother, earth, and countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. So for those that this ruts, ruts right up against, oh my God, he's saying Tao is, is different than God. Keep listening. Okay, remember, this is a scientific explanation. Uh, it's not a religion, so hang in there. Uh, Tao is the creator, the, da the source of heaven, mother, earth, and countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. Millions of people in history have honored various saints, including the Tao Jie Jing and Lao Tzu. Uh, its opening lines of the Tao... Uh, the Tao, what's it called? Um, the Tao Te Ching. Well, Tao Te Ching in, in the Eastern philosophies is, if you've never heard of it, look it up. Tao Te Ching, spelled D-A-O-D-E-J-I-N-G. Uh, it's very much like, um, in the East, it's not like the Bible, but it's kind of like um, the very condensed version of the highest wisdom in 81 verses. Okay? Um, and in that, his first line is, The Tao cannot be seen by our eyes. The now cannot be heard by our ears. Tao cannot be touched by the hands. And he goes on to explain, The Tao is like water. And he goes on to explain that the highest knowledge is just like water. Tao has the highest kindness. Why is the Tao just like water? Lao Tzu explains that water is willing to stay in the lowest parts in Mother Earth. Water holds the dirtiest things, yet it never complains. Doesn't that sound like our Creator? It tells us that Tao holds everything. Tao serves unconditionally. Tao holds everything. Creator holds everything and serves unconditionally. So there are, he goes into some profound phrases uh, that the Tao is bigger than biggest, smaller than smallest. Um, Tao is the blurred condition. Blurred condition. It seems, it seems that it can be seen, and it seems that it cannot be seen. Within the blurred condition, there are images, but within the blurred condition, there is no matter. Tao is so deep and dark that there is tiny matter. This matter is so real, it carries messages. Interesting, right? So what Lao Tzu explained in these phrases, that with your third eye, you can see original creation, but you can't really make it out. And it's before it comes into manifestation. Now this next part is very important because it leads into the theory, so hang in there. Tao is the Wu world, W-U, Wu world. It means emptiness or nothingness. He didn't say Tao is God. Okay, so get off your, your high horse if you're buttoned up against your some religious stuff. This is not religion. This is an explanation of how soul and science are one. Hang in there. Tao is the Wu world. Wu means emptiness or nothingness. As Lao Tzu explained in the eight phrases, uh, within, within the Wu world of Tao can be found the tiniest 
Jing, Qi, and Shen. Okay, I made this just for you. Take a close look at that. I'll leave it up for about 30 seconds. You see the formula down the side? S plus E plus M equals 1. That's the formula, right? What does it mean? It means Shen, Qi, and Jing. You just heard me use those words. What does Shen, Qi, and Jing break down to? Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Okay, I'm going to leave it up 10 more seconds. We're going to come back to it, but I want you to get a good look at it. Okay, we'll come back to it. Within the Wu world, all that has not been manifested yet. The world of Tao can be found the tiniest Jing Qi Shen. That's what I just showed you. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. The Jing Qi Shen of the Wu world is completely different, very different, from the Jing Qi and Shen of the Yo world. What is the Yo world? <clears throat> the Yo world means the world of existence. In the Tao Te Ching, there are four extremely simple and profound sacred phrases that explain the formulation of heaven, Mother Earth, and countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. These four sacred phrases are Dao Sheng Yi, Yi Sheng R, R Sheng San, San Sheng Wan Wu. English, please. Dao Sheng Yi. This is Mandarin. Dao is the creator and the source. Sheng means creates. Yi means one. So uh, one is the hundun. One is that which happens before creation itself. Uh, uh, before the, um, what did he call the world of existence? Okay. So Dao Sheng Yi means Dao creates the blurred Hundun oneness condition. Yi Shang R, second phrase. R means two. Yi Shang R means one creates two. The blurred Hundun oneness condition creates two. Two is heaven and mother earth. The blurred Hundun oneness conditions has the following nature. And I'm going to back up a second. <clears throat> two creates heaven and earth. Are there countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes? Shake your head yes. We don't know, I know, but most of us are not sure if there's life in other places. Here's a short answer. Yes, there is. That means that Tao, Tao created all of those different places, not just heaven and earth. So this is, we're keeping it very simple for heaven and earth purposes, but know that all existence happens in other places as well. Okay, so the blurred Hundun oneness condition has the following natures, bullet points. Within the blurred Hundun oneness condition are Qing, uh, Qing Qi and Zhou Qi. Qing Qi is clear, clear Qi. Zhou Qi means turbid or heavy Qi. What is Qi? What is Qi, guys? Do you remember? Got it? Chi is energy. Okay. So in the blurred condition, there is heavy chi and light chi. <clears throat> the the light chi are the heavy chi and light chi are inseparable and indistinguishable within this condition. The this uh, heavy chi and light chi has no time, no space, no shape, no image. These are the main characteristics of the Dao Hundun space. All right, next phrase, Ar Sheng San. So remember, Dao is this blurred condition, and then uh, the blurred condition creates two. What is two? Heaven and Mother Earth. There are many spiritual groups, religions, and non-religions in history. Most of them focus on the uh, manifest world. <clears throat> Practitioners meditate, they chant, they do many spiritual practices. They absorb the essence 
of heaven, mother earth, and countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes for their highest attainment on their spiritual journey. They have not realized that to reach heaven, mother earth, and all that is out there uh, is only the highest attainment in the um, manifest world. It's only the highest attainment in the yo world. There is attainment beyond that in the world that created the yo world. They had not realized that this is not the highest spiritual achievement. The highest spiritual achievement is to reach the Tao, which is the Wu world. Interesting, huh? Arshan San, third phrase. San means three. <clears throat> Ar shun sang means to two creates three. So what is one? One is the Wu world. Everything is blurred. Nothing has been created yet. One creates two, heaven and mother earth. We now move into manifestation, the yin yang world, right? Um, two creates three. This three is one plus two. It's not human being, guys. Three is heaven and mother earth and original creator. The blurred hundun oneness plus heaven and mother earth are three. Heaven belongs to yang. Mother earth belongs to yin. Yin is the female. Heaven is the male. Okay. So san shang wan wu. This is the last phrase of these four sacred phrases. <coughs> you guys enjoying this? Let me see some thumbs up. You like this so far? San means three. Okay, Wan Wu. Wan means 10,000 in Chinese. Wan or 10,000 denotes all or countless. Wu means things. San Sheng Wan Wu means three creates all things, countless stars, stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, including humanity. Dao and uh, Wan are the Wu world. Oneness is Tao. Tao is oneness. The nothingness and the emptiness world. The Yo world, which is the world of existence, starts from two, heaven and mother earth, and expands to countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. All right. So let's move forward. How does this apply to our health and wellness? How does this apply to our spiritual journey? Let's move on to that. Why do people get sick? So this is specific to the grand unification theory for health, but it applies to finances, relationship, it doesn't matter. Now you're going to get some scientific answers as to how things return to one. Okay. Why do people get sick? How can they heal? To answer these questions, we must first understand uh, what a human being and all life are made of. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. What is humanity and all life made of? Jing, Qi, and Shen. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. What is the equation to bring everything to oneness? S plus E plus M equals one. So the grand unification theory is what? Unification, what does unify mean? Oneness. The grand unification theory is connect and heal the blockages between the soul, the heart, the mind, the energy and the matter, and you have returned to oneness. This is also the solution for health and everything else. Let us continue. Everyone and everything is made up of Jing, Qi, and Shen. We explain in chapter one that a human being has three bodies. Jing Qi Shen body. Modern medicine focuses on the Jing body, the matter body. Through the study of, a, of anatomy, modern medicine, we can see that matter of the central nervous system includes the brain and the spinal cord. The Jing of the digestive system includes the urinary system and many other systems. <clears throat> when you're sick, you go see the doctor and you request blood tests and all kinds of diagnostic. Blood is matter, it's Jing. Blood tests reveal the biochemical changes in the Jing within the cells. Your physicians or your doctors also request x-rays, ultrasound, MRIs. These tests reveal growth or inflammation. It's all Jing, matter. That's what they're looking for. 
they also address it with those same activities, okay? So they adjust the matter with uh, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, um, cutting things out, right? Uh, the entire uh, traditional medical approach is adjusting the matter. <clears throat> traditional Chinese medicine and thousands of other healing modalities focus on the qi body, the energy body, which is uh, made up of a variety of things, including the energy meridians, <coughs> excuse me, within the human body. Uh, there's a classic called the Yellow Emperor's Internal Classic, and it says a sacred phrase that if qi flows, blood follows. Qi is energy, blood is matter. If energy flows, matter follows. If blood flows, uh, then health occurs. You see the correlation? Qi moves the matter. So Eastern medicine has, in, in this perspective, offered a different way to resolve the matter blockages. <clears throat> in traditional Chinese medicine, pain, inflammation, and all growth, cysts, tumors, cancers, everything, uh, are blockages of qi and the blood, and uh, the qi body. Its emphasis is on adjusting the qi, tai qi, qi gong, uh, um, massages, uh, acupuncture, etc., right? That's the trip typical approach. So in 2006, Master Shaw, this is Master Shaw in the back here, he published a book called Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine. That was one of his, it's like his fourth book, but it was one of his most popular ones. It's the first one that hit the New York Times bestseller. <clears throat> and um, he talks about this. So now he is co-writing the Soul, Mind, Body, Science, Grand Unification Theory and Practice, for Healing, Rejuvenation, Longevity, and Immortality. That's the total title to this book. The Soul Mind Body Science System focuses on the Shen body. What is Shen? Here we go again. What is Shen? Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Shen is the soul, heart, and mind. Okay? So this focuses on the Shen. Let me explain again the key relationship. So listen carefully. Soul leads the heart. Heart leads the mind. How many of us are stuck in our mind blockages? We don't go into our heart enough. When we go into our heart enough, we can hear our soul. We can hear our heaven's team. When we do the appropriate um, uh, transformational practices, when we do enough forgiveness, when we get the blockages out of the way, when you receive soul, mind, body, transmissions, treasures, blessings, clears the heart blockages, makes way for the soul world, which is our creator, to come through us. <clears throat> we then hear the correct guidance. The heart responds with the correct information. The heart leads the mind. The mind says, oh, I like this information. And it directs and gives orders to the energy of the body. The energy starts then moving the matter and the chi. It does not work the other way around. You don't adjust the matter and then the chi starts flowing. And then the mind says, oh, I'm so happy. And the heart says, oh, I'm so happy. And then the soul says, oh, no, it does not go up. It only goes soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. Okay. <clears throat> when you understand soul leads the heart, heart leads the mind, mind leads the energy, and energy leads the matter. When you grasp this and just make it a part of your life, here's all the things that you can positively affect. Because guys, if you have a, a, a financial blockage, is that a physical blockage? Is that, a, is that related to your sore arm? Probably not. Maybe it's keeping you from working a little bit, but probably not. If you have a relationship blockage, is that related to pain in the neck? Probably not. Everything is related to soul and soul level blockages. Heal the soul first. Transform the blockages at the level of, of your creation first. 
the heart, the mind, the energy, and the matter must follow. That applies to everything. So if you get this and you start applying the practices, you can heal, you can prevent sickness, you can rejuvenate, you can prolong your life, you can transform your relationships and your finances, you can increase your intelligence, your spiritual channels will open more, you will transform just about every aspect of your life, success will enter your life, enlighten your soul, heart, mind, and body, and you will absolutely move forward on your soul journey towards immortality. And it can all be validated scientifically. How cool is that, right? Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, Heaven, for bringing this extraordinary soul to humanity to serve us. Truly extraordinary, okay? All right. A little bit more and then we're going to move into a practice. You guys liking this stuff? Good stuff, huh? If you haven't shared it already, please share. Especially share it with your friends that are very mental. The doctors, the people that you know are doctors. Share this with them. The people that you know, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. See, here's the thing. Some people go, oh my God, what do they think about me for sharing this with them? Well, that's your ego, okay? You don't know that could awaken their soul journey. You don't know if this might cause them, it could ruffle the feathers, which could be very, very good. Because trust me, their soul will be ecstatic that you shifted them from their stoic, only one way of thinking. Because even if it ruffles their feathers some, you planted a seed. And one year down the road, Master Wulin's newest book might land in their hands because you planted a seed, they'll begrudgingly read it, and then their heart will open, their mind will open, and you have changed their soul journey forever. We must share, especially with those that are a little bit stuck, because those people that are stuck in their thinking, very often, it's their karma. They need this more than any of us, and if we allow our ego to inhibit us from sharing with them, well, shame on us. You know, we could get a lot of virtue for awakening them to their soul journey. <clears throat> All right. So the scientific formula is S plus E plus M equals one. Soul plus energy plus matter equals one. That's what we all are originally. That's the original grand unification oneness theory. It is when the S, the soul, is not in alignment with the energy and the matter. When the heart is not in alignment with the mind. When the mind is not in, a, in alignment with the heart. When the matter is not in alignment with the chi and so forth. When there is misalignment anywhere along that pathway, that's where we have imbalance anywhere in our life. So visualize a straight line. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Visualize a straight line from Creator through heaven through Mother Earth, down through your channels, right down to the tips of your toes, right? See that straight line. Now, that is your original soul at the original point in creation, completely free of blockages, one million percent tuned in to everything from original creation. That was your original created soul, free of mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, free of ego and attachments, free of everything. See yourself for just a minute in that perfection because that is your original place. In that original place, the divine's heart is so open. Your heart completely aligns to the divine's heart. There is nothing encumbering your immersement in the extraordinary love that you are, are and have always been a part of. Immerse yourself in that original creation love. Feel it. Watch it crack open your body. Allow it. Just literally open your arms and let that original immersion come in, blasting away everything that has ever separated you from Creator. It is such 
a beautiful, beautiful place to put your mind. Heaven is always blasting you with that love, with that frequency, with that alignment. Now we're going to go there in a little bit, but I wanted you to know that that's where your original soul and your alignment can be. What caused it to go away from that? When we entered into the world of existence, the yin-yang world, it was because of separation from alignment with soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. We had thoughts of separation. Any thought of separateness threw you instantly into the world of yin-yang, threw you instantly into the world of existence because you are no longer part of that oneness. <clears throat> Your mind took over and said, ego this, I'm right that, this person hurt me here, uh, why did they take my job away from me there? Uh, why did this happen to me here? Um, why am I suffering from cancer there? All of this is separation from source. It occurred because of the original separation thought. And then there was a domino effect because we failed to go back into that oneness place. Enlightenment and the path from where you're at to there is doable that's what the grand unification theory is everything that we do here is to assist us to domino effect back to our original place we domino affected away from it we can do the same to go back okay so know that the way back is through the soul and soul power and all the practices that we do that are soul-related practices. When you receive blessings that clear your spiritual debts for your heart chakra, for your other six chakras, when you receive blessings of any kind, you are fast-tracking the uh, pathway back because you're clearing the soul-related blockages, which are what? They're separation-based blockages. That's all they are. Soul-related blockages, good karma, bad karma, what is bad karma? That separation-based thinking, hurting others. That sep we wouldn't hurt others unless we were separate, unless we had separation-based thoughts. <clears throat> Anytime we do good service, that's oneness thoughts. Therefore, we have good karma. And so we have to uh, realign the dominoes. A lot more good karma, clear the bad stuff. That's why forgiveness works. That's why soul and soul practices work. It's very, very uh, commonplace simple wisdom and teachings why uh, four days ago when I offered Tao hands blessings was there ten people listing miracle related responses eight down to two six is down to zeros at least ten of them had a miracle in three minutes how is that possible let's apply it to s plus e plus m equals one the Tao hands blessing was not to your specific request it went to your soul and at the level of soul virtue was offered your soul carries all of the spiritual debts virtue is good karma who released the virtue to you it wasn't my soul it was heaven heavens Jing Qi and Shen has a higher frequency than your pain in your shoulders Jing Qi and Shen <clears throat> Therefore, that higher frequency manifests in the yin-yang world as positive energy. That positive energy or good virtue negated the negative energy that was below. Think about it in the order. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. The matter of your sore shoulder or sore neck was the matter of pain. Modern medicine would cut it out, <clears throat> give you pain pills. Energy medicine will give you acupressure to move the chi, to adjust the matter. But what caused it? It might have been negative mindsets, attitudes, or beliefs. It might have been a heart blockage where you were holding on to pain and struggle, jealousy, separation from source. So the blessing was offered above all of those at the level of soul with positive frequencies and positive energy, positive virtue. And that three-minute blessing cleared 
the heart blockages, then cleared the mind blockages, which moved the chi, which then adjusted the matter, and you experienced a miracle in three minutes. It's science, but it's soul. It's both. Do you get it? Everything is validated. Everything can be proven. We only have to move our monkey mind out of the way. We only have to move our belief systems of Christianity is the only way or, 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 or Taoism or, or, or Buddhism is the only way. No, there is no only way. There is the path of oneness. If there was an only way, that would be it. And this is the scientific validation of how to get from where you are back home. Okay? Let's do a practice. Close your eyes. Sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. We're going to add a forgiveness practice to this so that we can clear the blockages at the level of soul first. Choose an area of your life where you are having significant blockages <clears throat> do not write it if you don't want to. I'm not asking you to. This is just an example. Okay? Choose an area of your life you want to clear the blockages with. <clears throat> we first connect to soul. There are inner souls. There are outer souls. Let us connect. Dear the soul, heart, repeat after me. Dear the soul, heart, mind, and body of all of my systems, my organs, my cells, my DNA and RNA, the tiny matter inside my cells and the spaces inside my body. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. You have the power to remove soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter blockages for my request. State your request. Dear, continue to repeat. Dear the divine, dear the Tao, dear heaven and mother earth, dear countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes, dear all kinds of spiritual fathers and mothers, and in heaven please forgive my ancestors and me for the mistakes we have made in all of our lifetimes be sincere i'm going to do it again dear heaven mother earth my beloved creator and Tao, all souls please forgive me and my ancestors for all mistakes we have made against any soul in all lifetimes. I sincerely, sincerely apologize. In order to be forgiven, I understand we must serve. I understand that to serve is to make others happier and healthier. I am very grateful to receive your blessings today. For sound power, I will chant out loud, you can chant out loud or silently, and I will just repeat a phrase, okay? I want you to visualize heaven, mother earth, and all the beings of light who are always there to surround you. Remember that original visualization where you were fully immersed in the original heaven source creation energies. Open that channel again from the top of your crown, feel the light coming in, see the light coming in. Bring that back and repeat after me. Divine and Tao, forgive my ancestors and me for the mistakes we have made in all lifetimes and heal and rejuvenate me. Open my heart and soul. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Tao. Divine and Tao, forgive my ancestors and me for my 
for our mistakes that we have made in all lifetimes and heal and rejuvenate me, open my heart and my soul. Thank you, Divine and Tao. With all your heart, repeat, Divine and Tao, forgive me and my ancestors for the mistakes we have made in all lifetimes and heal and rejuvenate me. Open our heart and soul. Thank you, Divine and Tao. Divine and Tao, forgive my ancestors and me for the mistakes that we have made in all lifetimes and heal and rejuvenate me. Thank you. Open my heart and soul. Thank you, Divine and Tao. Divine and Tao, forgive me and my ancestors for the mistakes we have made in all lifetimes and heal and rejuvenate me. Open my heart and soul. Thank you, Divine and Tao. Continue to visualize the light coming in. I will now offer you a blessing from the very special Soul Heart Mind Energy Matter Calligraphy Master Shah has placed in this book. There will be countless beings of light serving you as I uh, chant on your behalf. Visualize a wider channel opening in heaven coming through the crown of your head blasting open your entire aura removing all negativity removing all mindsets attitudes beliefs clearing fully the past removing sadness and grief negative memories see the greatest love and light clearing the blockages refuse to hold on you visualize that while I serve you. Dear the soul of the countless blessings in the S plus E plus M equals one calligraphy, could you please turn on, offer your blessings to all those watching, all of those listening, as we speak, as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shen Qi Jing He Yi 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 Soul energy and matter becomes one Soul energy and matter becomes one. S plus E plus M equals one. S plus E plus M equals one. Shen Qi and Jing He Yi 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 Soul, mind, energy, matter becomes one Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter becomes one Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter becomes one. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter becomes one. Visualize all of the energy and matter in your body 
lining up in perfect equidistance from each other as if every cell had the exact same space between each other and all of the spaces between all of the cells all of the energy and matter in all of your cells are vibrating in exact and perfect relative balance there is perfect flow of life force energy between all of the cells see all of the cells as perfectly shaped perfectly balanced all of the energy flowing in between completely free of encumbrances visualize heaven's chi flowing through you clearing all of the blockages your financial blockages in your heart center cannot stay your relationship blockages in your heart center cannot stay visualize every blockage literally flying away as heaven's blessings pour in through the top of your crown. Shen Qi Jing He Yi 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 Soul Heart Mind Energy Matter 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 Shen Qi Jing He Yi 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 Keep your eyes closed. Truly tune in to every sensation. Feel the vibration. Witness the shift. What do you see? What did your spiritual channels show you? What messages, if any, did you receive? If you made a request and it's measurable, check what is the discomfort level now. When you are ready, please share. Open your eyes. If you share, what was your experience? If it was something measurable, this is what I asked for. This was the suffering before. This is the level now. If it was something visual that you were shown or a message you received and you feel like sharing, please do so. Let us offer our gratitude to heaven, to divine Tao and source, to my spiritual teacher, Master Shah, for bringing forth this great wisdom to serve humanity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I will await your sharing. Today was extraordinarily powerful. Heaven did a great job borrowing my mouth and uh, giving you the wisdom in such a way where you could um, grasp the, the higher understanding of how does soul healing work and why is it so extraordinarily different than everything's out there that people are trying. It's the reason why miracles are occurring. Not because I do anything, because heaven is very real and heaven is here to serve us. We just need to do our part. So I await your comments. Aloha, Candy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Richie says, wow, I feel lighter. Excellent. I do too. 
I, I felt about 20 degrees hotter while I was offering that blessing. I wasn't doing it, but heaven uses me as a, as a medium through which the blessings come. And I was just burning up. Uh, Jagdeep, she felt a lot of blockages coming out uh, of the body. Uh, asked for fear blocks to be removed and she feels less fearful. Is able to keep her eyes closed and, and focus and not get scared. Wonderful. Maria, I was suffering. Now I feel through forgiveness. Wonderful, Maria. Ale, I was feeling discomfort towards someone and I'm feeling much more peaceful and accepting of this person and circumstances. Great. Aloha, welcome to everybody who's just jumped in here. You came in on the tail end. Uh, don't miss this one. Go back and watch the replay. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Kathy says, uh, feeling blessed, healthy, and wiser. <laughs> Great. Uh, Don says, wow, Master Shah, my channel, I think she meant Master Paul, uh, my channel was so open and wide and the vibrations made it so hard to breathe. There was a treasure chest and a beautiful nighttime scene that she saw with her third eye uh, with countless stars and our many to help um, uh, and to help. Holy moly, doggone in. Beautiful. Dagan in is Mandarin Chinese for very grateful. CJ, uh, let's see. CJ says, wow, sweating a lot. That was amazing. I can see myself in a radiant rainbow light. Thank you so much. Uh, she asked for fears to be released to her scallywag toddler who was interrupting the blessings. Uh, she feels light and so much more light moving through uh, forward on her path. Feeling blessed. Kayla, she focused hard on heaven's light moving through her heart center and cleared blockages so she saw a mixture of green and white light. White light was flowing down and kept thinking heaven is uh, is going to be mad. We're using a lot of light. Actually, heaven is extraordinarily joyful right now. Um, Katie Nada, she had flu-like symptoms around a nine in discomfort. Now she is a comfortable one. Wow. She saw her cells align with her third eye vision and could describe them all vibrating in harmony. So I recommend you go back into that meditation, Katie, and stay there a while and ask the frequencies of these blessings to return to you and continue as appropriate. Uh, Joyce Jones, late but never. You're very great to have you here, Joyce. So um, for all those that came in late, do go back and watch this. This was extraordinary. I truly invite all of you to share this, especially with those that you know that are a bit hard-headed, a bit scientific, a bit stuck in their ways and their thinking, uh, especially those that have great uh, physical pain or suffering, cancer, anything of those natures. Sometimes people, they need to go through great suffering when nothing works before they wake up. This can help them so much more um, to open their mind and their hearts to other things that can assist them on their path. Because no matter what the physical suffering, when the soul level blockages are cleared, whatever else somebody is doing physically to help their, their uh, imbalances will be dramatically more successful because the soul blockages are keeping the physical world things from being successful. Whatever you're trying to do financially to make yourself more successful, you need to receive soul level blessings that people like myself can offer, which then makes the work and everything else you're doing that much more successful. Same thing for relationships. The reason there are blockages is because we have heart blockages, because we're holding on to grudges and sadness and grief and things of that nature. You cannot move forward until you clear the blockages. So if you are in need of counseling or very specific Tao blessings that can create extraordinary miracles like the ones on Monday, contact me. Uh, my phone number 808-469-6199. It's also listed above the video. And I'm here to serve you. So thank you for coming. We're coming up on the weekend. Again, I remind you, Dr. Rulin Shu, who co-wrote this book with Master Shah, is teaching this weekend. I believe it's this weekend. If you look through Kristen's post, she has posted the links. So you can register for that if you'd like. Um, she may repost it again. I'm not sure. Um, but I highly recommend that if this tripped your trigger and you enjoyed it, that you connect to her. She teaches uh, a great deal in relationship to love. So she, she teaches a very deep loved based class uh, and then um, sprinkles her scientific wisdom with it. And you just, you get a whole new set of aha moments, far different than what you learned here today. Highly recommend it for you. Thank you, Kristen, for posting that. 
So love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new, please hit subscribe. You'll know when I go live again and share. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you next week.